My father wasn't perfect, but he loved us and it was shown in everything that he did for us. One of the things that I remember so clearly now was my father, when we were young, he would always come in uh, to our bedroom before we went to bed and pray with us just before we fell asleep. He always used to do that every single night. My father did, I don't want to make him sound like a bad person, he had a good heart. He was always giving to other people, not his family, but to other people. He would, you know, if somebody was throwing stuff out, he was in the moving business, courier business, so, you know, people were throwing things out. He collected a lot of things and, you know, somebody might need this one day. So, you know, he, and a lot of times he did that where he would just help people out and give them certain things that they needed. And, you know, he had a good heart in that sense. And uh, I believe that I inherited that because I'm the same way. I'm a giver. I love to give. I love to see people blessed. I love to help people where I can. And uh, it brings me much joy. And my kids are, are seeing that and they are, are inheriting that as well, that, that gift of giving you know, helping people out. It's not necessarily monetary things, it's just anything, your time, your, you know, whatever you can to help somebody in need. So um, that's what my father passed on to me and I'm passing on to my children. The, the toughest time being a father was when I split with my ex-wife and I didn't get to see my kids on a day-by-day -day basis. It had now become a part-time thing and Having my kids still know that I love them no matter what may be happening, no matter if we are apart, I'm still always here. Um, so that, for me, was the toughest thing. Honestly, I think it's kind of like the similar challenges that, you know, um, you know our parents or their grandparents went through. Um, the principles remain the same, um, but the only thing I would say is there are certain nuances that never existed then and that we see now. Um, with the rise of um, the internet and you know um, the, the kind of um, laws and policies that are being put in place, um, certain things have been watered down. So I think those are the core challenges that you know parents or, or fathers today have. But I think the fundamental things still remain in terms of like you know helping to build up you know a child in character. I think those are the things that you know still stay. But I'd say um, a few things have changed around which may make it more tougher or, or you know, you have to come up with um, new ways um, to navigate those, um, those challenges. What I enjoy being most of a father is seeing me reflected in my son. And as I said before, self-praise is no praise, but I just give glory to God Almighty for giving me and blessing me with good life and health and making right decisions. I project soccer is number one, my number one sport in, in, in the world passion for keeping myself fit. I try to show myself son that. Now he is been through that life and he's showing me that he's going to join the Navy. So he has been with the Navy and he's just getting through. And it shows that what I, my hard work and my prayer, both myself and my wife, has fulfilled in my son's life. So I would always say prayer, always have prayer, and always try to fellowship with the Holy Ghost. And I'm blessed again with Pastor Marcus and the teaching I've received with him.